Oklahoma School for the Blind visits Northeastern State University, Oklahoma College of Optometry. I took this course as a student here at the at OCO, and uh, for me, it changed my perspective because, um, you know, wrong or otherwise, I'd always had this impression to folks with visual impairment um, as someone that, uh, or, and I recognize that I'm wrong now, but at the time, you know, it was someone that needed a lot of help, you know, wasn't able to do, you know, normal tasks without assistance. And because of this, because of this um, uh, field trip or get together with the School for the Blind, it completely changed my perspective. And so uh, I wanted, whenever I became the instructor of this course uh, a few years ago, I wanted to continue this tradition of having the students uh, from the School for the Blind here just because I know that it helps them to understand, uh, helps them to change their perceptions about students or individuals with visual impairment. Um, and so it kind of helps them to realize that they're not, you know, children to be pitied or to, you know, think that this they're regular kids. Uh, they can still do everything that a, you know, a child without visual impairment can do. They just may have to do things a little bit differently. Um, they're fun to be around. They're energetic. Um, so it just, it completely altered my perceptions, and because of that, I just wanted to continue this uh, this tradition every year. What do you think the exposure to Braille does with a doctor to be? I think it also gives an appreciation for people who can read and write Braille. Um, I told them a story about um, a colleague of mine who a secretary who was blind and uh, was able to write and read Braille extremely proficiently, and so she was able to, in shorthand, uh, take notes using a slate and stylus uh, very, very quickly. And so it's it's an amazing talent, it's an amazing skill. And so just kind of giving them exposure to that and knowing uh, how amazing or how difficult of a skill it is to master, I think it kind of broadens their perspectives on, you know, what Braille is about and, and what it's used for and uh, how these students are mastering it. Oklahoma Rehabilitation Services.